if you think about the class a address the class a address you know rule right rule so basically what happens is your v4 addresses are normally the total you know size of the v4 address if you can think it is of 32 bits okay the total size of the v4 address is of 32 bits all right so we have got 32 combinations of zeros and ones that can be spaced uh, for a v4 address now these 32 bits are divided into two half network half and the host half all right so think like network part is kind of a fixed think like it's a stream of signs or stream of or the state called as the last that is like fixed you know concept over here and this is like the users or the nodes that will be part of the you know network I, I, and i can say the, the nodes that is part of this particular you know the fixed values all right so the v4 addresses are divided into 32 bits okay, lo logic so if i think about the first address class that is class a the rule of class a is basically you have got eight bits in the network part okay and then we have got you know the 16 bits sorry, sorry 24 bits in the host part total is basically your 32 bits over here right eight bits net for 24 bit host giving you total combination of 32 bit address space now what happens here is you know for class a you know the first uh i mean how do you represent it we represent that into four octets we represent the v4 address in four octets uh they are separated by using uh, a dot separated by using a value called as dot okay so i've got here four spaces where i separate these values with a dot all right so how do you write down an ip4 address so inside each I mean four spaces total is 32 bits so we have got eight bits each so each octet consists of eight bits so if i have a space of eight bits you know we know that uh, we can have combination of eight bits starting from all zeros so all the eight bits can be zeros or all these eight bits could be ones so which means i can get a decimal number of either a zero or till 255 right total if i count from 0 to 255 it is 256 values so uh 2 raised to a 2 power 8 is 256 values so the range is basically between 0 to 255 so in every octet you can write down this numbers which is between 0 to 255 all right in all the octets you can write down this numbers from 0 to 255 okay now <clears throat> for class a condition as i've told you that the first eight bits is your network part and the remaining 24 bits is your host part that means this particular you know eight bits that you see here this eight bits that you see here the first eight bit will be your network part and the remaining 24 bits that you see here they will be your host part okay so now how do you represent the address as i've told you the class a address rule is this this is how you represent it okay with you know four octets so as per the range of class a is considered we know the range starts from you know zero all the way to you know 127 that's the range of your class a address now how do you represent it so if you want to represent this class a addresses so you know that is the way you represent so let me clear it out so a class a You want to represent the address uh, concept so you start with let us say all the value is zero imagine right you have got four octets on all the octet space you write the value as zero that means uh you know this is your uh the first eight bits this is your next uh, 24 bits so just follow the first octet value okay just follow the first octet value what is the value it is so the value is zero right so whatever value we have with the, on the first octet okay that will determine you know which class of the address it is right so if it is a value zero so we know class a address range is between zero to 127 okay so if i have a value which is zero in the first octet that means this is following in class a range right that means this is my eight bits this is my network part this is my host part so basically i can say that all the network bits are 
uh, low or they are not used likewise all the host bits are low or they are not used uh, this is kind of called as uh, though it is a class a address because the first value is zero in the octet that's fine though it is a class a address but it is an invalid address it is an invalid ipv4 address i'll tell you why i mean the reason because uh, none of the bits are in use right all the bits are zero but this address in the world of networking has got a very very special uh, case we call this address as a default route or a default address okay uh, in the world of routing in the, in the context of routing and we'll see that uh, down the lane okay but at a very very basic level i mean if all the bits of the v4 address is entirely you know not used they're all zero so it is an invalid ip address so how do you start so if you start like that if you still say okay the first value is zero 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 okay and the last value say it is one we're writing this in the decimal number itself okay so basically uh we can say like that ipv4 addresses are represented in a dotted decimal notation right so this is basically uh another term we call that i am representing this in a dotted decimal notation so i write down decimal numbers but they are separated by using a dot okay now very simple here again uh, i can see this is the first value is zero so it's a class a address this is the network part these are all my host part so i can see that none of the network bits are used from the host uh, at least one bit is used right uh, so i've got a host but without a network it's just like you've got a student but without a stream you've got a house without a street right so uh, things is like you know again this is basically your invalid at ip address so what do you need at a very very bare minimum is you know you would need uh, the ip address value should start with a value one right so the first octet should have at least a value one and the rest say if it is zero so first of all you see what is the value in the first octet uh, from which range it is so it is from zero to 127 so again it's a class a address so basically this is the network part the first eight bits this is your host part so i can say that now there is a network bit which is in use but all the host bits are zero right so there is a you know network bit in use but all the host is zero now this address is a very very special address again this is called as a network address address of a network like think like you know that science or commerce or arts right this is a network right so we've got a network here we've got a you know a room over here but there are no uh, students inside that particular room right all the host values are zero right now if i want to you know uh, accommodate the users in that network so what we do is we keep this value fixed we say one one dot and then we say zero dot zero dot and we start assigning the users from your right to left okay so the first value is one dot zero dot zero dot one right that is your you know valid ip address this is called as a valid ip address right so we've got a network bit in use we've got a host bit in use that's fine now similarly uh the second the or we can say this is your first valid ip address right uh similarly the second user will have 1.0.0.2 the third user the ip is 1.0.0.3 and likewise we'll continue so we can go till this number it will reach uh the last number would be in a binary right if all the bits are high you know with all these combinations the last number can be 255 right so so far what we have is we have got you know 255 users right so, which is which is all they're all part of this network address right they're all part of this network address so think like a different way again so this is a let us say classroom the classroom address is 1.0.0.0 we call that this is a network this address of the network and we have got the user sitting inside this particular classroom so every user you know has got the respective ip so first ip say it is 1.001 this is say this is say 1001 this is say 1002 1003 1004 like that right so 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 far you have accommodated you know 255 users in that particular class or in that particular uh, network but still you have got you know other host bits which is available and we can use that right so it's a very very big classroom it's a very very big network right in that in that very big network you have got 24 bits in the host right that means you only have used a combination of the first octet right still we have got two octet spaces where you can use 
So exactly what I'm saying is after this value, can I accommodate another user? The answer is yes. Right. So after this value, what is the next value I'll get? I'll write, I'll write, just write down here. So next value is 1.0.1.0. .1 .0. Right, so we'll actually make the last octet, you know, reset back to zero, and you and you will use the preceding octet or the third octet, make it to one. Right, this is also valid IP address. Normally, I write VIP, and I write VIP, so it is called as a valid IP address. So from this combination, again, the next value is one dot zero dot one dot one. The next value is one dot zero dot one dot two, one dot zero dot one dot three. Like that, we can continue till. This last octet will go till 1.0.1.255. Right? So we accommodated so many users, right? Still, we have got you know the octet bits which can accommodate more number of users, right? So once I you know finish that last octet, I can actually raise this value to the next value, and then we can use that combination. So after this, after this, what is the next value that I have is again 1.0. I'll actually make this value to be in the next one which is the value 2 and reset the value on the last octet as 0 and this combination i'll get 1.0.2.1 right all the way to 1.0.2.255 right so similarly you know we can make it to 3 4 5 6 so time will come you know when we'll actually get a particular value like this imagine you'll get 1.0.2 255.255 right you will you will actually get this value this is also a valid ip address not a problem right so still you have got one octet where you can place more number of hosts so after this what is the next value that you get is one dot you raise this value to one and you reset all those values to zero this is another combination that you are getting right so after this what is the next value it's one dot 1.0.1 so always you think like you are actually assigning the addresses from your right towards your left okay and whenever the octet values are becoming 255 the highest one the preceding octet you raise it to the next number and then you follow that combination right so time will come you know when you will see uh, a time will come when we will see this address you know time will come when we'll see 1.255 one second dot 255 a time will come when we'll see this particular value right now this is a very very special address that we have okay where you see that we have got a network this is a class a network okay network bit is in use but you can see that uh, these are all your host bits this is your network bit right this is a network bit this is all your you know host bit you can see that all the host bits are basically high so if all the host bits are high this address is called as a broadcast address this address is called as a broadcast address okay so very very common thing right if all the host bits are zero like in this case it is called as a network address if all the host bits are high the last value where all the host bits are high it is called as a broadcast address and in middle whatever combinations you have they are all called as your valid ip address okay the meaning why it is called as valid ip address because this ip addresses you can assign it to any device any nodes right that is the reason it is called as a valid ip address because you can assign this ip addresses to any nodes all right so what is the combinations you are getting here let me just you know clear it off so you get the combination which is from let me take a text so the first combination that you have got is you know 1.0.0.0 this is basically your network address okay after this the first value which you got is 1.0.0.1 this was your i can say first valid ip address and we have the combination so i can go till last is 1.255.255.254 right that is the last ip that i can go so i can say this is the last you know vip address right of this network all right and the last is 1.255 255 255 which is basically called as a broadcast address okay so there is a term called as you know usable ip 
usable IP address, which means which IPs you can allocate to the devices. So uh, usual, you know, usable IPs are all your valid IPs. All the valid IPs are basically called as your usable IP addresses. All right. So basically the range is, you know, uh, between this, so whatever values you are seeing here. So all those values are basically called as a usable IP address, these values, right? They are basically your, your usable IP address. Okay. So these addresses you can assign to the device, right? Now <clears throat> you can see that, you know, you've got, you know, 1.000, the first network, right? The first valid IP, the last valid IP in the middle, we'll have all those combination values. We know that, right? And the last one is broadcast. So always remember network address, you cannot assign to any device, any broadcast address, you cannot assign to any device. Okay. Only the valid IPs or the you know, usable address of, of a particular network can be assignable to a device. All right. Now, after this, after this broadcast address, what is the next value that we get? After this broadcast address, the next value that we get is, you know, of course, we'll actually uh, reset all these values to zero and we'll increment the first octet value to two. The first value becomes two and the rest, all the values become zero, right? So it is, you know, it is again a class A address because the first octet value determines the class of the address. So it is a class A address. Um, and and, and uh, all the host bits are zero over here, right? So this is, again, I can say this is your network address. I say NA as a network address, then the first value would be 2.0.0.1. And the last value would be with all this, with all the possible combinations that we do till the last value would be 2.255.2.255.254. There's a last value. And the last value of a particular network is a broadcast address where all the values are high. All right. So you can see that this is your usable IP. So the valid IPs, this is your broadcast address. This is, this is your network address. So this is, let us say now what we have is we have got, you know, two uh, classrooms, imagine, right? We've got two classrooms. This is your 1.0.0.0 network. This is your 2.0.0.0 network. From there, we have got, you know, these users are part of this network. We have got these users that are part of, you know, this network, right? now what happens is by default okay by default the users or the ip addresses which is part of the same network you know they can communicate with each other okay so all this you know usable ips of the network 1.000 they can communicate with each other all those usable ips of the network 2.000 they can communicate with each other but the users of or the ips of different networks by default the ips of different networks by default they cannot communicate with one another Okay, so if I've got a user here having an IP from this range, if I've got a user here having an IP of two dot series range, you know, uh, they cannot talk to each other by default. Okay, remember that. So like this, you know, what will happen, right? So let me, you can clear it off. So like this, you know, we are getting the, the possible combinations, right? So, <clears throat> so say like this, we are getting the possible combinations of, you know, um, so you've got from class A, we are talking about class A, you know, addressing logic. So the first value was 0000. It was basically called as invalid IP address. Okay, next is 1.000, right? Which is basically called as a network address. The next is 1.001, all the way to 1.0. Dot, sorry, 1.255.254. This is basically your VIP. And the last is 1.255, 255, 255. This is basically your broadcast address of this network. We can also call this as a network broadcast. We can also call this address as a network broadcast, right? Now, what is the purpose of this broadcast address and all? We'll talk later, okay? Uh, we'll, we'll see that. But, but remember, only very important thing is whenever you try to assign any IP address to a device, uh, make sure it is called as a you know valid IP. You assign it from the valid IP range, right? Similarly, you know, after this, after this, what do you have? After this, let us say uh, you have the next network. So next ne next network is two dot zero dot zero dot zero. This is your network address. You have got the range of VIP from two zero zero one to all the way to two dot two fifty five. 
255, 254. This is basically your all the VIP from this network. And then 2.255, 255, 255. This is basically your broadcast address of this network. Okay, likewise, we'll go to the next network, which is 3.000, right? Again, the combinations will happen for 3.4. Dot, right five dot again all those combinations will happen for each and every individual network right? and we'll reach to the point so for class a you know the ranges you know uh, for class a the ranges i've told you for class a the range that i've told you is you know between uh, 0 to 127 right sorry 0 to 127 that is the entire range we have right so we started from zero invalid so this is the combination of one series of one series of two likewise we'll have series of three four five so at the very end i mean we can go till the series which is 127.0.0.0 right and basically we'll have the numbers of 127 and the respective you know values out of it but the concept is this specific you know uh, 127 series that you see here this this 127 series is reserved for a special purpose only from class a reserved for loopback ip address loopback ip address for self testing purpose okay so normally we uh, use this particular range of ip address as a loopback ip address which is for your self testing purpose and we normally don't assign this ip addresses from this uh, range to any of your uh, user okay so i can say the last value so the last value or the last i can say network of class a or i should say like that the last usable network the last usable network of class a will be actually 126.0.0.0 right so from that you know we have we will you will have the possible combination the possible combination is 126.0.0.1 all the way to 126.255 255 254 and the broadcast address is 126.255.255.255, right? So that's your first usable network. That is 1.000. That's your last usable network of class A. That is 126.000, right? And in the middle, we have all the combinations of valid IPs, the broadcast address, etc. Remember, this loopback address 127, it is only from class A. Other classes, they don't have this concept of loopback addresses and all. So this address was only uh, there, you know, carved out from class A range for self-testing purpose. It is used. Okay. So we can assign the IP addresses from one dot till 126 dot for class A scope. I hope it is clear.